Hey guys, Bergen Dotson here. PGA Tour 2K21. It's a golf game. Dotson, what you got? Well, free on the PS Plus, so checked it out. Playing it on the PS5 with you. Had uh, had a lot of good games and got a few different opinions about it. It's uh, it's good. It's not great. It's good, but uh, specifically, a few things we should hit on, I guess. First is, uh, what do you think it looked like? Let's start from the top on them, them graphics, some sweet, sweet graphics. You know, it's 2K21. The graphics are great. They're okay. I should say, hold on. I said great. They're okay. They're not going to blow you away, though. Um, some of the greens look choppy. There's, I just feel like there are some courses that look better than others from playing the game so far. I feel like it's more the name brand courses that you know if you're a golfer. They're going to look great, and some of these off-brand courses are a little uh, a little rough around the edges. Yeah, I, I totally agree. There's some courses, you know, there was one up in the mountains we were playing that is just phenomenal looking backgrounds. You hear eagles calling up in the background, going into trees. It's, it's real good, but then, I mean, it's golf. You got a lot of flat, open space and well-manicured green that looks the same everywhere you go, so it's kind of dull. With it being a 2K sports game, um, you know, playing NBA 2K21, the character models or Phenomenal, and in this, not so much. They, Oof. yeah, a little rough, a little Sims like. My guy's arms drag on the ground. I don't know. I don't remember making that option, but he's got them. Gorilla arms. It's so real realistic, it, you know. That's what makes him hit it three hundred yards. That's right, because so. he can wind up like a windmill and swing it. Oh boy, but yeah, I, and you don't get a lot of options on it either. I don't remember being a ton of options you can actually change the different angles of the face and all that and i'm not a big fan of that type of stuff i'm not spending time making a character from that but especially one you're only going to see the back of at minus a few cutscenes. right right yeah that and they, graphically was okay it's passable it looks better than yep. you know pga tour 1993 did but at the same time you're not going to say look at this this is a system seller it's definitely next gen it's definitely amazing to look at it's just it's okay it's passable I'd agree. I'd agree. But so past that, how's it play? Hey, it's golf, baby. It is golf. And they nailed it. I think they nailed it. You're putting balls in holes and I think they did a pretty damn good job of that if you gotta you gotta ask me. But seriously, it it's gonna scratch the itch from a golf game for you. If you guys have any golf itch that you need, these phone games that you got, they don't do it. You get you need a hardcore game like this to actually play, and this is where the game's going to really shine. I like every bit of it. It's challenging. I know I'm gonna. We should probably start from the top here before I get a little carried away. What do you, what do you got? PGA Tours. You can actually compete with PGA players. I heard this wasn't a thing before, but it is. Meow. Yeah, finally paying some licensing fee to some people. I guess they got their likenesses in here, but you don't have to start PGA. You can start, you know, at one of the lower fields and one of the Q schools or something, and then try to work your way up. And once you get three wins, you might get promoted to the PGA Tour, or you can try to struggle bus your way through, get in the top 25, top 50, whatever it may be, and eventually work your way to the PGA Tour with the big wigs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They got a My Player, right? You can. We just talked about that. They can compete in there, so you don't have to play a, a legitimate PGA Tour player. You can put your character in there, which is nice. Yeah, get that gorilla Super arm nice. in there and... Uh, you know, let it represent mm -hmm. you throughout it. People will be scared. That's right. People will be scared. That's right. Just in case you miss now, one of those. Come out swinging. I haven't messed with I'm just going to interrupt you like that. How is the online? Because I've not touched the online side of this game just yet. Online's good. There's a lot of different game modes that you can do. Um, you can set it in two different options. By default, it was actually set to where you guys don't see each other. You just swing at the same time, and it's whoever gets the least amount of strokes. Which I think kind of hmm. takes some of the fun out of it. You know, I like seeing their swing and how they do and how badly they hook it off into the water or you know where they end up in the sand and not just oh i guess you're minus three on this hole and i'm minus two and we're on to the next one you know with really no interaction but there's also mm. kind of arcadey modes um that you could play that aren't realistic just by stroke you could do it by uh you know distance to pin and how many percentage wise land on the fairway it's all different kinds of game modes and they they made it kind of a robust online experience I'll have to check that out because I have not. Let's 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 talk about that swing. How do you feel about it? I know you and I both went with the what a medium level 
difficulty. There's an easy mode where you just got to, what, shoot your shot and you're going to hit it 100% every time, I imagine. And then there's the, what is it, the backswing and timing and the cadence of the shot that takes into play. And it's a huge part of it that I like because you can shank this ball. You can be real confident all of a sudden you're shanking one into the crowd. It's going to happen. Yeah. But that's what I like, the fun of it. it. It worked out really well. You know, we both went with that medium setting. So that backswing and the timing does matter. And I found that if you get the timing just a little bit wrong and you come back a little slow on that backswing, that thing's making a 90-degree right turn. And it's going to kill some poor lady on a golf court just three courses over. It's bad how bad it'll hook or how bad it'll shank to one side. So I found able to adjust my style to where I come down fast on the backswing every time. That way I know I don't choke it up. And it'll always curve to the left a little bit. So I just adjust for that. I always aim right come back fast on the backswing, and I'm landing shots. And you're getting some pretty good uh, yards out of it, i got to say, on some shots. Some shots. Sometimes, you know, if you don't bounce it off a tree or some poor kid in the crowd. But with the good comes the bad, right? There's some uh, there's some not-so-great things with the game. Yeah. And one of them that you and I both had happen to us was on, what, the second? I can't remember, though, if it was the... PGA Tour, I think it was, we just got promoted up to the PGA Tour, and then it was the second hole, the game just crashed out. It was trying to connect to the servers, and you just sat there looking at your ball. My ball was in the sand pit at that time, and I just sat there for, well, how dare you? (laughs) I sat there for about five minutes waiting for the game to come, and then uh, had to kill the game, restarted, and then I could finally pick back up. Now, you've had more problems than I have. only had it on one other hole. So. Oh, yeah, no, it, it got really bad. I think it was on TPC Sawgrass, and there was probably four or five times just through 18 holes on that one course where it would completely lock up, and it just gives you a little connection symbol and never connects, never progresses. And it was a problem I found only when we got to the PGA Tour because on the lower tournaments, it didn't have the replay of other people trying to sink a putt or get an eagle that you don't care about. Right. It's a cool feature. It makes it seem like it's live and, you know, it's real deal. But you can turn that setting on off. And if you do get the game, I would very much recommend doing that ASAP. It's a game changer because that one will break your game. And what I will give them is if you do kill the game and resume it, it brings you right back to where you were. Same stats. Yeah. Um, if you pick up a sponsor during the PGA Tour, they'll have you do specific things like, hey, land nine balls on the fairway from first drive. It saves all those stats, so you don't lose any progress, but it's annoying to have to kill it and then reopen it just to get past the cutscene that you didn't care about in the first place. And one other thing I would say, just from my experience with the game, is let's say you absolutely shank one into another friggin' hole. Yeah, uh, you can't re- you can't redo that. It's uh, You play with what you got, which I kind of can appreciate, but boy, when you're when you're shanking these, these balls, it's... Uh, it's a real it's a real buzzkill. Yeah, you can declare it unplayable for a one-stroke penalty and bring the ball back a little bit, but it's not like you're bringing it out of the deep woods. You know, you're sitting there hitting it off a Bigfoot's foot, and there's nothing you can do about it. But, I mean, overall gameplay going back, I mean, it's good. It's challenging. The, there's holes that got hella wind on them, and um, you really got to figure out where this ball is going to land, and do you want some backspin, front spin? I haven't really messed with any side spin if there's any in there, but you can pull the ball around trees. It's it's solid as far as the golfer. And clubs do make a difference. You know, they have clubs that are a little more accurate, a little less forgiving on the backswing, but it'll give you a little bit more drive, a little more power. And it's yep. definitely something you can fine-tune and get much, much better at and develop, but it's also something that any beginner could pick up and get into today and still compete at a, a fairly good level. Yep. Yeah, if you want to kill... Five minutes, you want to kill an hour, this is a good game to do that. And it's still fun at the same time. So those are games that I like to keep around. Well, what's your final verdict on it then? So for me, right now, if you're a PS Plus member, you get it for free. That's the best price that you can get out there. But I would say, if you can find this game, I don't know what it's going for right now, being it's, what, a year old maybe? A little bit over that. Uh, I'd say if you can get it for around 20 to 25 bucks or under, I think you got yourself a deal, and I would definitely recommend picking it up at that price. Yeah, if you're even a you? mild sports fan, I would say it's a great game to kill time. It's something you can jump into, play nine holes. It's 
a good drinking game, a good betting game to see who can get mm. the least amount of strokes on a hole just messing mm. around with a buddy. Um, there's no ball cleaning mini game, so skip it. You know, I don't think it's worth it. But no, it free on the PS Plus. Download it, play it. It's worth it. Not something that I'm going to stick with too long, but it's it's something that we'll probably hop back into just to play a few holes every once in a while. If I had to buy it, I wouldn't go over twenty bucks. Absolutely. Well, with that said, guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're out here. We love this stuff. We're trying to do more. Tell us what you want to see in the comments, and we'll be all over it. Till next time. Thanks.